The Perfect Pet Shop by Vivian French. Middle Rabbit and the Cabbage Field Big Rabbit, Middle Rabbit and Baby Rabbit lived with their grandma and grandpa in the burrow. Big Rabbit was big enough to go to the cabbage field on his own, but Middle Rabbit and Baby Rabbit were too small. But I'm big, said Middle Rabbit. I'm bigger than Baby Rabbit. You're not big enough to go out alone, said Grandpa. Eat your carrots and you'll grow. Middle Rabbit ate his carrots. Am I big enough now, he asked. Not quite, said Grandma. Eat your lettuce. Middle Rabbit ate his lettuce. Am I big enough now? he asked. No, said Big Rabbit. You're not as big as me. When you're as big as me, then you can go to the cabbage field on your own. Oh, said Middle Rabbit. Middle Rabbit ate his cabbage. He ate his celery tops. He ate his parsnips. He ate his turnips. Am I as big as you now? he asked. Big Rabbit pulled Middle Rabbit's ears. No! he said. Bother, said Middle Rabbit, and he went to sit under a tree. Baby Rabbit followed him. It's no good, Middle Rabbit sighed. I'll never be as big as Big Rabbit. Boop! Mole pulled himself out of the hole. Why, hello Big Rabbit, he said, and hello to you too, Middle Rabbit. Middle Rabbit looked around. He couldn't see Big Rabbit anywhere. Where's Big Rabbit? he asked. You're here, said Mole. No, said Middle Rabbit. I'm Middle Rabbit. And I'm Baby Rabbit, said Baby Rabbit. Mole began to laugh. Oh, silly me. It's because I haven't seen you for so long. You've both grown. Middle Rabbit looked at Baby Rabbit. And Baby Rabbit looked at Middle Rabbit. Have we? they asked. Mole laughed again. Yes! Oh, said the rabbits, thank you, Mole, and they skipped back to their burrow. Grandma, Grandpa, Big Rabbit, said Middle Rabbit. Mole thought I was Big Rabbit, so can I go to the cabbage field on my own? But you're still smaller than me, said Big Rabbit. Grandpa smiled. Middle Rabbit will always be smaller than you, Big Rabbit, until you're both grown up. He keeps growing, but so do you. Grandpa looked at Middle Rabbit. We didn't notice, she said, that you are a big rabbit. So tomorrow you can go to the cabbage field all on your own. Hooray, said Middle Rabbit. And I can go on my own as well, asked Baby Rabbit. You're not quite big enough yet, said Grandpa. Oh, said Baby Rabbit, and his ears drooped. Middle Rabbit looked at Baby Rabbit. There was a tear on the end of Baby Rabbit's whiskers. I'll go to the cabbage field on my own, Middle Rabbit said. But I might be lonely if I go on my own every day. He looked at Grandma and Grandpa. Is Baby Rabbit big enough to come with me? He asked. I'll eat my spinach, said Baby Rabbit. And Grandpa and Grandma both said yes. That, said the rabbit, is a good story. I'm sure the boy coming to choose a pet will want a rabbit. I'll do my best bouncing when he comes. We'll spin round our wheels, said the brown mouse. We'll run round in circles, said the guinea pig. She looked at the puppy. Do you know a story about guinea pigs? Oh, yes, said the puppy. Do you want to hear it? The rabbit stamped his foot. We'll have drippy ears tomorrow if we don't go to sleep. That's not fair, the guinea pig frowned. You've had a story, and so have the mice. We want one too. And then, can we go to sleep? Asked the rabbit. Yes, said the guinea pig. And the puppy began his story. In the next video, we will tell the white puppy's story about the guinea pigs and find out what pet the boy picked from the shop.